Bernie was one of the first people I met when I came to the community, and not because we were involved in a particular funeral at the time, but he was already a recognized community leader and had been for years. Bernie has called me with suggestions, with ideas, with things that he's heard that he thinks it's important to share with me, and that has been invaluable because he knows so much about what's going on in the community as a whole. They're truthful, they're honest, they're fun. They're just real, they're just easy to be with, and we have fun, and we just love them. And they're honorable people. They have good character, and they take the high road. As soon as we moved in, we were in a bi-level, and I remember we were in our family room on the lower level, and there was a knock on the back door, and it was Bernie, and he came in to welcome us to the neighborhood. And we've been connected to them ever since, through their children, through our children, through family simples, through family losses. They've been a part of our lives, and we've been a part of their lives. Bernie and Judy have really enabled us to do so much of what we do here. Whenever you see our events or major fundraising event, you'll see the Platt's name associated with it. They are a family who is endlessly supportive of our goals, of our mission, and of everything we try to do as a community. Bernie wants to be in the room where it happens. He wants to be at the table. He wants to make sure that he can add his perspective to a conversation. And he brings a really important perspective every time you're discussing a topic. He knows about the community. He knows about the Jewish community. He knows about the whole community. So when an issue comes up, you want to hear Bernie's voice. You want to know how the issue will be perceived by others and how to best approach solving a problem or creating a new idea. He served as the mayor of Cherry Hill, he worked hard for our broader community, and he really did a lot of things that helped out our town. And that's something else that speaks volumes, I think, about both Bernie and both Judy. Their service to the community it doesn't stop at TBS, it doesn't stop in the Jewish community. It really is about our Southern Jersey community. They really care a lot about it, and it shows through all the wonderful things they've done over the years. I once had a conversation with Bernie that I'll never forget. It's about why it's so important for him and Judy to support our community. And Bernie told me that when he was growing up, he didn't have the opportunity, his parents didn't have the opportunity to support the community like they do. And the fact that they're able to do that now is something that means so much to them and so much to their family. It also means so much to us as well. The difference the Platts have made to the Federation and our family of agencies is tremendous. The endowments they've set up, the funding they provide, whether it be for Project Sarah, Jewish Family and Children's Service, the commitment that Bernie and Judy have provided to Jewish education in this community has been tremendous. It has made such a difference in the programs and services that we can provide. No matter where we are, they always go out of their way to come and greet us, the children the same way. If we ever needed anything, if we ever called Bernie or Judy for a split second, they would just go and do what was needed. And with all the stuff that Bernie has, he's never too busy to take a call or just to talk. Personally, I've lost both my parents, and during both of those losses, the Platts were there for me personally. They held my hand in my darkest moments. They walked me through the process. They got me through, and they continued to make it feel that I had some place to turn if I didn't know the answer to something, that I could pick up the phone and call and ask. And they've just been so gracious and so loving, and I'm so grateful for them in my world. Bernie and everyone at Platt just creates such an atmosphere of caring, of genuine, genuine caring. I can't imagine another place that does it better. And I think it's truly from the heart for them and obviously a deep part of their whole family for generations. Now I love seeing the next generation of young men taking over and, and joining as I've watched them grow up and to grow into their positions there. And they've really been inspired by their grandfather. 
And they're also very supportive of us as rabbis and uh, very cognizant of our time and our needs and making sure that however we'd like to do the service at Platt Memorial Chapels or at the cemetery is always taken care of and is always set. And it really is wonderful to have a funeral home here that is so embedded in the community and cares so much about the people here. The first funeral I did at TBS was actually a, a graveside funeral, which they were obviously involved in. But I remember so specifically about the first funeral that was done in the chapel there is I remember Bernie coming in to talk with the family after the service. I remember the very first thing that he said was, I hope to never see any of you again anytime soon, certainly not in this situation. There was that moment of exhale that he was able to provide for everyone in the room in that moment. But the, just the, the, the soft nature of his voice, the gentle handshake that he extends, he, he really holds people in that moment. And certainly that's something that I, I think he's taught his family to do as well. They do a really wonderful job there. We do a lot of major events here at TBS, and the Platts are always at the forefront, supporting our community, making sure we have the resources to do all of our creative experiences and be able to engage our families here at TBS. They're always in the front row at all the concerts. I love seeing them up front. And when we redid the sanctuary, didn't say anything to me, but when I see the amazing finished sanctuary and there's a plaque that contains all the different things people donated, and Bernie and Judy donated the Cantor's podium that I stand at every week, and I love that. I think of that sometimes when I'm up there. I really do appreciate that, and it's the right size. I don't have to stand on a step anymore, so I thank the Platts for that. You need the Platts in the room, you need the Platts perspective, you need to hear what matters to them. And so there have been many times when you have an issue that comes up that you say, let's talk to Bernie and Judy. The Platts are our backbone. They're our support. They're our support at our worst times. They're our support to give us comfort when we need it the most. They are leaders. Each and every one of them has taken on leadership within this Jewish community in some place. And that is tremendous and that is a value that their grandchildren took to college with them and took on leadership positions in their schools. That is what they're doing here in our community as well. They mean everything. I don't know what this community would look like if it weren't for us.